Let's talk more about this with Alyssa Fair, White House Communications Strategic Director. Great to see you. She's also an assistant to the president. Alyssa, thanks so much for being with us. Yes, great to be with you. And I mean, that was a phenomenal lead in you had there. Of course, one of the most important issues, not just to female voters, I think voters across the spectrum, but particularly, as you said, to moms, is this issue of securing our communities. I mean, the level of restlessness that we've seen in our streets and refusal by Democrat leaders to actually secure our communities is gravely concerning. But rest assured, this president will make sure we are securing our communities and will take action to do so. You know, that scene, obviously it's dramatized, uh, dramatized because of uh, it's a campaign commercial, of course. But I, I think a lot of people, millions of moms in America have had that same situation where it maybe hasn't happened to them, but they're sitting around the house watching the news with their family and their young kids ask, what's really going on here when they see a city like Portland or Seattle or New York City or Chicago? You know, this, I think, is on the mind of a lot of moms right now. And how many, you know, independent suburban moms, we hear that term thrown around. I know it's a div more diverse than just suburban moms, but Alyssa, you know, do you think this is going to be the demographic that decides this election? I think absolutely. It's a very key voting block in this election and just generally. But I think you made a good point. We've seen this we've seen this unrest in some of these major cities, but we've also seen it spill over into suburban communities. The unrest in Kenosha, for example, is very concerning to voters, people who never thought that this could happen in their safe neighborhood. So I think that's something that will be a motivating factor. But more importantly, just looking at what the president has done to date on this issue, we stood up, for example, Operation Legend, which started in Kansas City, but has spread to cities nationwide, where we've got federal law enforcement assets working with the Department of Justice to pursue violent criminals and gang activities to secure our communities. We will not rest until our, our city streets are secured, and we'll also be looking at those suburban communities that could be indirectly or directly impacted by it. That's a top priority for this president. You know, and when you try to explain this to an eight-year-old, as I did, when they see the violence, and like, you know, we just saw the mayor, Jenny Durkin, in Seattle getting accosted by our own constituents, and you, when, when kids ask you, why is this happening, you know, it's not a political answer. You tell kids because there are not enough police officers on the street. That's a simple answer and they understand that. But that's a conversation that I know a lot of moms are having with their own kids and we think that will spill over. So Alyssa, we're going to see Donald Trump obviously talk about this tonight. We'll see a contrast with Joe Biden. We thank you for your time. Hopefully we can check in with you again soon in the near future as well. Absolutely. Thanks so much. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.